What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Makawa, coming at you with another video. I know I haven't released a video in a very, very long time. Um, I've been busy working on some real life shit. Not that you guys will understand and know. But um, cut to the chase. I just wanted to give my little two cents on the Asman gold controversy. I know I'm a little late. I know he's already got um, his two-week ban. And... um. You know, people are calling for, you know, stricter punishments on him. But I just wanted to give my little two cents on it because fuck it. Uh, usually I don't fuck with this. I try to stay away from this type of stuff. But he is like one of the biggest. Well, he is really one of the biggest streamers on earth. And he also, I believe he is the biggest streamer um, for World of Warcraft. And many fucking, I mean, the man got like, what, fucking 40, 50. 30, 40 fucking thousand people watching play World of Warcraft. You a bad motherfucker. Just got to give his flowers, you know. Flower, respect, respect is due. But anyway, um, <clears throat> my two cents. All right, here we go. I'm going to piss a lot of people off as usual. Uh, white men, you are not allowed to say anything on the internet anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys didn't get the memo. I don't know if... You guys were asleep when they released the memo. Uh, maybe you was fucking your bitch when they made the memo. But anybody should know by now that if you are a white man, anything you say will be used against you. And we're not talking about the court of law. We've seen it over and over again. You can't say shit. You can't say shit. You can't even say, well... Oh, that's a lot of black people rioting right there. And it's not but black people rioting. You're labeled a racist. Well, I mean, these females on Twitch are doing some very disgusting things for money. And they're doing the most despicable shit for a dollar. And you're labeled a fucking misogynistic rapist. Just the craziest terms thrown at you. Um, It's, it's not so bad if you of color. You still get in trouble a little bit if you say some wild shit. But... Even as a black man, even though I identify as a Chinese woman, it's pretty clear that it's a fucking target on y'all head. And, and and it's coming from a black guy. You know, I've never I it's crazy. It's always been crazy to me because I can get on here, right? And I can say, man, fuck that black YouTuber. I'll kill that motherfucker. I hit his ass with a switch. I'll pull up at his mama house. I'll pull up at his daughter's school. Nothing probably happened to me, even if I got a pretty big following. Everybody a clap and cheer and hoorah and, and make memes and all kind of shit. Let a white man say, hey, look here, man. I think this is fucked up. You getting fucking, uh, you getting executed. Now, do, do I think personally what he said was fucked up? No, not really. No, not really. It wasn't, I mean, you know, hey, <laughs> If you know, you know, you know, <laughs> it ain't really, I mean, come on now, you, you know, it is what it is, you know, but nah, man, I don't think what he said was that extreme, I, that's, a, at the end of the day, that's his opinion, and if he feels like that, he's entitled to feel like that, um, I didn't think, I don't think he's a racist, um, I believe there are a lot of races on YouTube, uh, Twitch. I believe that a lot of them are, you know, um, pretty up there in power. But mm, I don't know. When I see uh, Asman Gold, I just see just a dirty white dude just want to play video games and jack off. I mean, that's what you, when you look at him, that's what you see. Like, that's, you know, and that's part of why so many people follow him. He looks just like the average white gamer. You know, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But for the people that's going above and beyond now and trying to do all this other shit, you know, like always, you know, they try to find you in real life and they want to contact your mom and your fucking grandmother and they want to get you fired. You know, um, I believe Asmund Goat has already stepped down from two projects. I believe he was associated with or two groups. I didn't really do my research on the groups. I figured it was some type of probably video game related group. Um, I don't think he, I don't, I've never heard any news of him being like a part of like a gaming company. I could be wrong. Um, 
But yeah, um, like I said, uh, same thing with Dr. Disrespect shit. We live in the age of TikTok. That's what I like to call it. I like to call it the age of TikTok. Um, this will blow over. It'll blow over soon. Um, I give it about two weeks, maybe three weeks at the most. He'll come back. People will love him. People will clap. They'll parade. They'll fucking, they're, it should be forgotten about. You know, if EDP can come back. Uh, if, if the guy, uh, uh, Mr. Beast and his associates and, uh, who else was it? Dodger Speck. If all those guys can come back and still make millions, ask them to go to BI for his little comment. You know, like I said, um, if, uh, I know Asman Go would never see this. I'm not a, nothing close to a big YouTuber. He probably won't hear what no black motherfucker got to say no way. But, um, anyway, uh, I would tell him, man, just stay away from the politics, man. I, I've been, I, a lot of times I watch the channel Asmund Gold clips, and I said this shit like before this happened. I said like three weeks ago, before this happened, I was looking at his clips and I said, "Man, he is really starting to dwell in other topics besides video games," and that gets a lot of people fucked up. You know, if he was my homeboy, I would say, "Look here, when you come back, bro, um, tell them moderators get this shit right. Stay away from the politics. Stay away from politics." Stay away from religion, please, you know, and um, I don't know if you guys know this, I've never said this, um, but when I do ramen shop talk with Makawa, um, with, you know, and it's me and Sut, my homeboy Sut, I, I always tell him before, and like, I don't want to do, well, let's not bring up anything religious, let's not bring up anything, like, you know, going on right now, you know what I'm saying, like, usually you can skate about talking with Trump, because... Trump be on some real entertainment shit. Like, you really never know what this nigga gonna say at all. You never gonna know what's gonna happen to this nigga. Like, he lives a real celebrity lifestyle. Like, it's it's crazy sometimes. Like, I I mean, but he is an entertainer. He's just a natural fucking entertainer. So, you can slide off of talking about him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But hardcore political shit, I really don't even want to fuck with that. And anything hardcore religious, I definitely don't want to fuck with that. Cause now niggas is on Asmund Gold ass. They want his head on a fucking pike. And he ain't said no uh uh he ain't call him no racist words. He didn't fucking uh thing. He just said what how he felt and everybody entitled to their own opinion. You know, um He just it just is what it is, man. It is what it is. But no, I don't think this is fucking I He's too high up there. He's too loved and respected for him to be canceled or ran ran off a um a platform. Asmund goes like to me, he's like up there with Casanet and them as far as you know, definitely like I said before when I started this video, when you got fucking 30, 20,000 people watching you play World of Warcraft, I and mean, you know how old World of Warcraft is. He has more than that if he plays a new RPG or a new MMO. Man, that man, that he's he's good, man. Ain't nothing gonna happen to that man. He's straight. He good to go, man. So, um, you know, whoever's in his corner, they told him the right thing because he got on video and brought up his dad and you know, niggas bring up childhood. You know that that same old type of talk. The same old type of talk they all do when they're trying to, um, make you feel sympathy and all that kind. You 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 know you know the talk. Same same old talk. Same shit everybody do. You know. I don't know. I don't know. But he'll be alright, man. He'll be alright. You know, take your little two weeks off. That'll make people want to fuck with you even more when you come back. Now you're going to have the right ring ringers and all them shit. They come to you and you still got your gamers. And, yeah, man, you're going to be good. You're still going to be eating. You'll probably still be making six figures a year. You know what I mean? At this point, I know you're making more than six. You're probably touching seven. Um, Let that shit die down. You'll be right back at the little two... Um organizations that you was with that you had to step down from um i just you'll be all right like i said this is my little two cents um like i always like to say in fashion do whatever the fuck you want to do one day this shit will all be over uh we will all be sitting in the ground um so live your life how you want to live it so say what you want to say and do what you want to do and whatever happens happens and with that being said fuck you <laughs>